Hey everyone, this is Chef Steven. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are going to do a Texified version of jalapeno poppers. Now, jalapeno poppers, of course, your bacon, your cream cheese, your jalapenos, all kind of wrapped together. Awesome, awesome side. But today I'm going to do my hungry Texified version. What we're doing, instead of doing jalapenos, we're doing some poblano peppers. We're going to, of course, get our bacon. We've got our cream cheese. But to make this Texas, we got some smoked brisket. I'm also going to do a little bit of some crab and some uh, Argentine shrimp because, of course, everything's bigger in Texas, and that's how we do it. Let's get started. First things first, what we're going to do, we're going to get our poblano peppers, and we're going to cut them in half right down the middle. And just be careful when you're doing that because, of course, nobody wants to get cut while they're making their delicious poblano stuffed poppers. Now you got quite a bit of room. We're going to take the seeds out and then we're going to start stuffing it with the cream cheese. We'll wrap it up with bacon uh, and go from there. Now, if you kind of mess it up a little bit, it's okay because it's all going to be held together with bacon. All right, now that we've got our poblanos seeded, cut in half, it's time to stuff them with cream cheese. Now, a lot of the times I love to go with the whipped cream cheese. However, the problem with that is that I'm afraid it's just going to kind of uh, melt out completely. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get a little bit in every single one of them with our regular cream cheese. If you got that little boat shape, by all means, these are the perfect ones to go with. Uh, can't go wrong with that, you know? All right, next step. We're gonna get probably, let's see, we got eight total. I went with four peppers, two pounds of cream cheese. Keep in mind, you got a party, this is perfect for them, you know, because you probably can't eat all of this in one sitting. But next step, we're going to start stuffing it. We're going to get some smoked brisket. If you have some brisket at home, awesome. If you don't, go to your favorite barbecue place and get a little bit of some brisket. This is ultimate, ultimate Texan, in my opinion. Here we go. You'll probably go with like, I don't know, about half a pound. If you want to really stuff them, by all means, go for it. Not really necessary, but since we cut all this up, let's just use it. Next, we're going to get a couple of poppers with uh, some crab. I don't recommend going with a jumbo lump or anything like that because it is going to kind of uh, mash down a little bit. So go with the cheap uh, crab claws, if you will. That's my recommendation. We're going to stuff these two. If you have a little leftover, totally fine. Use it for something else, you know? Last step, we're going to go with some shrimp. I like to go with the raw shrimp because I have my oven set to 400 degrees. By the time the bacon's cooked, the shrimp will be nice and cooked because if you overcook your shrimp, it's going to be kind of rubbery and unappealing. So that's my recommendation. We've got a little bit of some shrimp left over, and that's okay. In the next step, we're going to start wrapping everything up. Now, let's wash our hands real quick as we are using raw shrimp. So we'll wrap up everything from our brisket to our crab and then our shrimp again because everything's raw. Let's wrap up some poppers. Whenever it comes to wrapping your poppers, you're probably going to go through about two slices of bacon per. I like to kind of stretch it out just a little bit because to me, you can get more surface area covered. So here we go. Just be careful as you don't want to have too many pockets because you don't want everything to fall out.
Next, we're gonna put them on a sheet tray, and I like to put a little baking rack right between the sheet tray and the poppers, because that way you get that air underneath it. We're gonna pop it into the oven at 400 degrees. We're gonna start with about 20 minutes. It might take a little bit longer, it might be a little bit quicker, so I'll let you know when we bring them out. But let's line them all up. Another tip that I recommend is have your bacon on the bottom, on both sides, when it's all wrapped up. That way, as it shrinks, it won't come out. And if, let's say that does happen, just get a toothpick and close it shut. Any of the leftovers that we have, whether it's bacon, crab, shrimp, just find a random popper, stuff that bad boy in there. All right, let's go into the oven. When it comes to putting your poppers in the oven, we're gonna put them on the middle rack right there. And we'll set the timer again, 20 minutes. Might take a little longer, might not be. I'll let you know. We've got about 30 minutes in the oven. The bacon that we went with started to crisp up a little bit. After about 30 minutes, I put it on broil for about five minutes to get that little crispiness out of it. All this work, Let's try it. I'm gonna go with the shrimp one. Let's see how it tastes. That's a feast right there. That's really good. Of course, poppers are awesome. Cream cheese is awesome. Bacon is awesome. When you put all this together, fantastic. I hope you have some good grilling ideas. You can do these on the grill, but it's been in my experience that the bacon doesn't cook properly, so I just pop them in the oven. But hey, however you want to do it, smoke them, grill them, oven fry them, whatever. Anyways, I hope you learned something today. Make sure you follow me on social media, Chef Stegons on Instagram, Chef Steven Gonzalez on Facebook. Go to ChefStevenGonzalez.com, get a copy of my cookbook, Get Your Grub On. There's over 100 recipes, over 200 pages with great photography. And more importantly, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I will catch you next time. If you all got questions, make sure you hit me up on social media or my website. Catch you later.